Greetings and salutations. Um, hey, so I've been gone a while. I know that this is going to be a little bit of a life update. I'm just going to talk about some things. Can you see all the shit on my floor? You can see my backpack and all my blushes. That's fine. I'm just going to kind of talk about life and stuff. My eyeshadow does not look as good as I thought it did. That's fine. Ow, that's really hot. That's, mm, that's really hot. Can we talk about this mug though? It's like the size of my head. It was a Christmas present from my sister. It's, um... It's meant for soup, but I drink so much tea that she got it for me to drink tea out of. And I do drink like three cups of tea out of this daily. So I've been a bit shit lately. <laughs> My mental health has kind of been garbage. It's been in the trash can. I don't really know why, but I'm about to overshare with the internet. So basically my mental health, like all through last year was like really good. It was like weirdly great for me. Um, I was having a great year was just doing a lot better in my head and then the school year ended and I lost all sense of purpose and I lost all sense of self. I started doubting every friendship I had again. I started just feeling like I had no purpose, that like, you know, all my dreams were worthless again and I just started getting into this fun place of existential dread. And this happens every new year for me. I don't handle the, pa the passage of time very well. I always, it always freaks me out a lot. We hit New Year and I we just kind of took a moment to to think what have I actually achieved in my 18 years of living and the answer was nothing and it just sent me into this spiral and now I've been, you know, doubting every part of my life, which is so fun. So I've just been, I've been in a darkish place where a lot of days I don't feel up to like getting up and talking and doing stuff so it makes it makes you know youtube and creating content quite difficult i've been writing a lot of songs recently none of them very good they're all very sad and you know self-destructive and talking about how garbage i am of a human being which is the same as what the, like the three songs i've put on this channel are really lovely happy things i felt really out of place from like all of my friends, I guess, because my friends, my closest friends, they just do not share my interests. I want to talk about Taylor Swift and Spider-Man and the MCU and Star Wars and Stranger Things, all of that constantly. That's the only, the, the, the only things I like want to talk about. That's what's constantly going through my noggin and the people I associate with, the people I, you know, talk to on a regular basis, the people I see on a regular basis just do not care, which is fine. They don't have to, they have their own interests and life as they should, but it means that I can't talk about the things that I want to talk about without feeling super annoying and feeling that like I'm out of place and I don't belong. And it makes me get really self-destructive. Um, and I just feel like there's something wrong with me. And that I should like what everyone else my age likes. You know, I'm 18 and I don't drink. Um, and that immediately, will, and like I'm Australian, so like 18 is the drinking age. Um, and so that immediately means that like I don't connect with my friends on this level. They go to town on the weekends and stuff. And I don't because that's not something I'm interested in. But that, it makes me feel like there's just like this immediate social barrier between me and them. And it, it sucks. And like even when I see films... Um, I'm very into film and I, you know, want to talk about films that I see, you know, a lot. If I go on to see a movie, I want to talk about the acting performances and the writing and the structure and the editing and the pacing and the directing. And I want to talk about the colouring and all the things I loved and all the things I hated and why I think it was a good movie or why I think it was poor or what I loved about this one specific actor's performance or whatever. And I've done that a lot over the years where I've you know tried talking to people about that stuff after I see movies and either you know I've been called annoying I've been told to shut up I've been told no one cares or I can just see that eyes glaze over and I just feel so annoying and so I just kind of don't do it anymore but it just makes me so sad like all the time I'm venting because I haven't really vented to anyone but like I've been in a shit place. <laughs> I'm hoping I start classes again 
on Tuesday. Um, I've got, yeah, a drama class on Tuesday and then I've started classes again. So I'm really hoping and praying that being back in this environment, having a teacher um, who really, really believes in me, who really wants me to pursue film, being in a class with people who also, you know, our work is to talk about actors' performances or I'm taking a pop culture studies class, you know, being in a class setting where like the work is centered around things I care about and where I'll be kind of encouraged to have my opinions. I'm hoping that that elevates, elevates my mental health again. What else has been going on with me? Um, so Rise of Skywalker. Haven't said anything about Rise of Skywalker since I saw it. I liked it a lot. I know that it is very flawed. I know there's a lot missing from the script and there's a lot of plot contrivances and a lot of it like doesn't make that much sense when you like properly think about it but I really enjoyed it I think JJ was given an almost impossible task with with wrapping up this trilogy where it just didn't really have a cohesive storyline at all he did his best and I think what we got was a flawed but fun film I was quite happy with it um I saw it and walked out in like a in a, in a good mood I was quite happy with it I had been sobbing because oh my god no spoilers but like the, the, the layer stuff really got me. I went to a midnight session of it and then like the next day, you know, reviews came out and more people had opinions and I was like, oh, like I didn't think it was anywhere near that bad. I thought most people would be relatively happy with it. My biggest problem was one that I knew that a lot of people wouldn't have a problem with and was just like the erasure of Rose's character and the I just feel so bad for Kelly Marie Tran. What else? Oh, Miss Americana comes out next week. I'm so fucking excited. I can't even tell you. The trailer came out this morning and I just sobbed. I've missed Taylor a lot and I've I felt quite disconnected from Taylor recently just because I felt quite disconnected from the fan base because I feel like no one really is just like there to just support Taylor and make friends anymore, which is what I have always loved about fandom culture and about, you know, stan accounts on any media platform. I have Taylor accounts on, like, all of them. But, like, that's what I've always loved about stan Twitter and Tumblr and stan Instagram or whatever, is just being able to bond with people about a mutual love of something and but make friends and it just feels like everyone's just fighting for Taylor's attention and no one is there to just kind of appreciate her and her art um, and bond over that anymore. So I felt really disconnected from her because I felt really disconnected from her fan base recently. But just getting the trailer for this film and knowing that we're getting this film of just, you know, really seeing so much. She's opening herself up to us again on this really like personal level. She's letting us into a part of her life that she didn't previously let, you know, the public eye into. And it's just really, I'm really excited. I think it's going to, you know, make me feel a lot closer to her again. Um, like I did up until midway through this era. What else has happened? Um, I read fucking, what's it called? Splinters of the Universe the other day, which was like the first Star Wars Legends novel, which was like originally published as like a sequel to A New Hope or Star Wars as it was then. That was interesting. I wouldn't say I recommend it, but like it was, I laughed a lot through it. There was a lot of things in it that just made me laugh. So if you want, if you want a good laugh, Read Splinters of the Universe. Um, if you want an actual like good Star Wars novel, maybe look into some other ones. <laughs> I really want to go to Disneyland. This is off topic. I just really want to go. I really want to go to Disney World or Disneyland. I want to go to Galaxy's Edge and I want to go to the Magic Kingdom. So bad. So bad. I have to keep an ear out while I film this because I have a wig coming today for my next cosplay. Oh, speaking of, I have been, there were like one place where I've been like properly active across the social media boards recently and it's because I don't really have to actually interact with anyone has been TikTok. <laughs> I've been a TikTok cosplayer recently and I know that the world hates me for it but I love cosplay. Cosplay makes me feel a lot better about myself and you know being characters who I like a lot more than I like myself um, and looking in the mirror and seeing them uh Makes me feel, it makes me feel nice. Um, makes me feel better about myself. I was doing like MJ Watson the other day and I realized that like that was probably the the prettiest I've ever felt. If you wanna see that stuff, where I'm actually kind of like active right now, that my username is Ashley.Taylor. I've also been trying to draw a bit more recently because that's something that like I'm not very good at, but I enjoy and I wanna get better at it. But, like every time I get inspiration to draw, 
I'm only like drawing fan art, like my sketchbook that I've had since 2017, but I only use very, very rarely. It, the only things in it is Percy Jackson fan art, It fan art, Stranger Things fan art, and like sketches of Disney characters. And I legitimately, that's the only thing. I think there are some sketches of Taylor's tour outfits as well, but they're legitimately the only things in there. I don't know that I have anything else worthwhile to say. That was a little catch up, I guess, on kind of where I've been, why I haven't been posting, why I may not post very frequently for a bit until I, hopefully when I start classes again, I'll get back into a better head, headspace and then I will be uploading more regularly. But if I don't, um, you may know the reason why. Thanks for listening to me, oversharing, if you did listen. Yeah, just, just thank you, I guess. Follow my TikTok. Um, I love you. Uh, I'll see you very soon. Mwah.